what's the feeling after running 94 yards? Are you out of breath? Uh, do you need oxygen on the sideline? Or are you just amped up from excitement? And what was the reaction on the sideline after that run? Um, we scored. I mean, you got to think about this, 94 yards. Anybody's going to be, you know, a little winded. But, um, no, just a great job by everybody up front. And I just had to go do, do my job and, you know, was able to take it 94 to put us up in the game. John Glennon. Yeah, Derek, uh, on the uh, on the overtime run, just kind of um, if you could take us through, you know, what you saw as you as you get the snap, and you know what you're looking like, and or what you're looking at, and and how that run uh, was executed. Uh, just a wildcat play inside zone, um, uh, going to the right. Just look at the defense by the way they were flowing. Our guys were blocking. Got back backside and just tried to get vertical and got in the end zone. They did a great job blocking. Hats out to my teammates. I just had to go do my job. Was there a guy or two there at the goal line that you just figured, okay, the only way I'm I'm getting in is basically to to run over these guys? I mean, that's what I had to do to get in the end zone. So that's what I was going to do. Thank God I got in there. Thanks. Joe Rexroad. All right, sorry about that. Derek, uh, a day like this, I know a lot of your teammates have been talking after the game about, you know, seeing you do some of these things, you know, that, e that even surprises them at times. I mean, do you get enjoyment even looking up at the board after a run like that or something like that? Do you, do you take some enjoyment in some of these plays you're able to make? You no, know, I'm praising my teammates. You guys are incredible. A lot of guys made plays that it just wasn't me. I just had to go out there and do my job. And a lot of guys were big and critical moments, all my teammates. Just happy to be on this team, happy to be part of this organization. We're 5 0, playing good team football. No matter what, no matter how the game's going, we don't quit. We stay together and finish the game. So, just happy to be on this team. All my teammates are doing an incredible job, and you know, hats off to them. Ain't nothing about me. Teresa? Derek, to follow up on that, uh, the play to drive there uh, that you, the, Two point conversion failed, and then you guys respond with the drive down there, the pass to AJ to to give yourselves a chance to get in overtime. How key was that drive yet again for this franchise? Just big time football by Ryan and AJ, and all the other receivers that Ryan was throwing to Ferk, um, Adam Humphreys, even J Mac had a hell of a game. This guy just making big plays in critical moments, and moments never too big for them. AJ, that's what he was brought here to do. That's what he's going to do week in and week out, making big plays. And, you know, hats off to him and Ryan. Incredible job. Buck? Yeah, Derek, you've seen this franchise kind of, I mean, totally change from the time that you got here to the point that you guys are now. I know it's, you know, only five games in, but, I mean, just how proud of are you of what you guys have been able to accomplish so far leading into this season? We're not going to get too high. We're going to keep that underdog mentality. We know we 5-0. It's hard to win in this league. We appreciate being 5-0, but we ain't going to get too high. We're going to focus on what we need to focus on. Um, enjoy this win and get ready for the Steelers on Monday. And on the 94-yard run, uh, pre-snap, it looked like Ryan checked checked into something. Uh, what what was going on there that led ultimately to you being able to score on that play? We don't go too much in detail. Just know that he hiked, we hiked the ball here and ultimately we went 94. Derek, you guys had tried the little screen pass a few times before it hit there for 53 yards to set up a score. Uh, what was what worked differently about it, and what sprung you free there on, on that one? Yeah, we actually tried to hit it early in the game, but you know JJ White being JJ White, he knocked the ball down. I was happy to be able to get that look again, and um, one on one on the DB I was able to get upfield, put us you know down the field, and put us in a good position to score. It was a great job by Ryan getting the ball out and. I said, I'll go do my job. PD. Derek, whenever I talk to Coach Dews about you, he he just says that all the credit goes to you. But today we saw two of the things that you work on with him come to fruition. You know, the stiff arm, the angle, and then also the, the catch and run on the screen pass. How much has Tony Dews helped you just develop and hone your skills? Yeah, he's helped me a lot, helped me turn this thing around. Um, keeps me on my toes. Um, Never let me get too high. Never let me, never let me get too low. I'm just, you know, always, always pushing me. 
you know, all he knows is hard work. So that's why he's going to man out of his players. And each and every day, you know, you got to come to work, be ready to work. And that's his approach every single day. And there's not one day that he don't expect you to come to work, no matter how you feel, no matter what the situation is. That's just how he is. That's all he knows. And I don't know if you, you know it, but you, you hit 21.6 miles per hour on that run. That's pretty good for someone your size, especially. Well, what was clicking for you guys in, in that rushing attack? Uh, the fact that's, that's too slow. I need to get, I need to get to 22. But um, you know, I mean, these guys are just wanting to dominate the line of scrimmage, and you know, they did a great job with that. You know, hats out to the offensive line. The guys don't get enough credit. Did a great job. And I just had to go, had to go out there and do my job. All those guys did a great job blocking receivers, tight ends, fullbacks. You know, I can't say it enough. And um, you know, I just had to, had to go out there and do my job. And hats off to J Mac. No, he don't, you know, show up in the stats that much, but does a great job for us coming in on third down, picking up blitzes, making critical plays, you know, throughout the game, running hard, finishing runs. So just, you know, proud of all my teammates. File. Derek, how, how much more than a game manager is Ryan Tannehill? And and, and as a follow-up to that, I guess, is it crazy to, to say he, he belongs in the early conversation for MVP with some yeah, of the he, stuff he's he, done for you all? MVP to start the campaign right now. We ain't gonna get too high, but MVP, I think you should be in that conversation. Definitely. Paul. Derek, uh, were you looking up at the scoreboard kind of as a rear view mirror on the long run? Uh, do you do that often? And were you just checking if anybody might have miraculously been closing in on you from behind? I'm looking at the end zone. I never look at the scoreboard when I'm running. I can't look at the scoreboard trying to run forward. I'm looking at the end zone. Jim? And at what point, Derek, when you kind of broke into the open field, did you sense that you were gone? And do you feel guys around you or behind you? I know whether you're pulling away. One thing you need to know about me, I'm looking forward. If you, in my vision, I'm trying to run past you, run through you, or make you miss. And I'm going to the end zone, you know. That's all I'm, I'm focused on. When I see you getting grass, I'm thinking, let's go. And, and, and this team obviously operates under some high-stress situations at the end of that drive and regulation, then again in overtime where you got to be perfect. What, what's the feeling of euphoria when you when you win on a walk-off like you did? Yeah, I don't think no moment is too big for us. You know, Coach said um, – Last year, just stay, stay in the river. Always uh, stuck with me. And I think what guys do, just you know, just stay in the river. Don't let it get too too high. Don't ever get too overwhelmed. And just focus on finishing. That's our mentality. No matter what happens in the game, or you know, what you know, momentum shift as far as you know, each team, we just focus on finishing. And then we we whenever we get an opportunity, we want to go score as an offense and you know, defense. You know, did a hell of a job too. So you know, we just want to play complete football. No, as a team. You more gentry. Yeah, Derek, we, we've seen you pull off some pretty good accomplishments on the field, and each time I'd say the response is, you know, you tend to be more actions than words. I'm curious what it is in your background that makes you that way. Hmm? What do you mean? In terms of you don't brag on yourself, you could. Um, because it can be here today and gone tomorrow. You know, I'm tremendously blessed. Um, God has blessed me tremendously, me and my family. So, you know, I'm appreciative every day I get to wake up and live my dream. You know, and, um, a lot of guys you know, don't get an opportunity like this. So I'm just thankful, man. My, my grandmother always told me to be humble, all my family. You know, just work hard and do your job. And everything else will take care of itself. Last one, John Glennon. Derek, um, Tyson Umbrello came in there for, for Taylor and had a little bit of a rough start, but I noticed in the uh, the last couple drives, it looked like he had a couple of big blocks, uh, I think both on your runs. Uh, did you notice them? And, and that a pretty good example of, of a guy, you know, bouncing back, uh, showing a little resiliency there? Yeah, I was not worried at all. I know he would come in and play well. I mean, that's what happens sometimes we make mistakes in the game and you got to let that play go and go play. Anytime he's in the game, he's like a starter anyway. So he always comes in and plays well.